All right, real quickly, I've got to tell you what happened this morning. At about 6.30 in the morning, these things just shut themselves off because I wanted to bring them all the way down to 0% state of charge to reset the BMS. Two of them are already at zero and had that balancer on there. And I was waiting for the other two to get down to zero. Well, all four of them shut themselves off at 6.30 in the morning. And in order to turn them back on, I had to take one of my lithium power box battery deals and jumper them basically you run a parallel output and a jumper to each one of these to get them to turn back on i should do a video and show you how to do that it was you know a shout out to uh bobby in i think he's in north kakalaki anyway he told me yeah just jumper them man they'll turn right back on he sure as heck they sure did so i had a nice clean plate to start recharging these batteries up to 100% with the balancer on and thankfully I had sun uh, for most of the day today but I got let me show I'll, I'll just stop talking and I'll just show you what happened so this is the results of a full day's charge and these things aren't accepting a charge anymore 100% here 93% here, 99, 100% right here, and this one is 93%. So it's still kind of weird, and honestly, it's still working. The balancer is still working, so it may these 93s may go up a little bit higher and balance themselves out a little bit more. It's still a little bit premature to, to tell, but it's a hell of a lot better than what they were. Um, you know, I had 100% on this one when I had my problem. And this one was sitting at, what, 76. So you had like a 24% difference just in these two guys right here. Now the variance is, you know, 6 7% difference. But the real good thing is that this balancer is doing its job. This balancer right here. And they say if you want even better balancing, you can hook two of these up in parallel. And this is another one I got right here. Um, I'm not sure where I read it. I think it was on the on the Amazon description section. But anyway, you can hook up another one of these little guys and uh, even for more regulation. And it works. It works. Uh, very surprised how good that works. But I set the absorb and bulk charging per kilovolt specs up here. And there's nothing connected. The inverter is off right now, but it's, you know, it's an idle, quiescent freaking amperage right now. Just enough power to, you know, run the electronics in there, but it's done charging. And it's, that's where it's sitting right there. Like five one hundredths of a volt off. That is awesome. So, and lastly, I did a calculation on kilowatt hour output rough guess uh 13.5 total running them from 100 percent down to zero but that's when they were jacked up so we'll be curious now that they're playing well together again to if i get the full 14.4 kilowatt hours so there you have it if you want to see just let me know if you want to see how i hooked up that jumper deal you know, with the lights on right there. I had a little SAE two pin with uh, alligator clip them on and just connected them on there. And as soon as I, as soon as I put the alligator, alligator clips on there, boom, that battery just came to life. It's amazing, amazing. So again, I'm no expert on lithium batteries. I don't build them. And I really appreciate those who chimed in and commented on YouTube and Facebook, my Facebook channel, especially Curtis, uh, for kind of coaching me along here. And uh, that kind of help will not be forgotten. So hope this helps out the next folks. Um, you know, like I said before, this is a $9,000 battery bank. And really all it needed was, you know, to be brought all the way down to zero and add in the uh, this thing works on charging and discharging this balancer equalizer balancer 
probably not the best one in the world, but hey, whatever works, right? So now I'm going to bring the system back up, start inverting instead of buying power. <laughs> and uh, hopefully this will stay good. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you. Thanks.